I blogged about how reallocating resources in an environment of higher inflation and rapidly increasing interest rates would be a prudent move many moons ago. To that end, I reduced my investments in many investments in my portfolio, some of them drastically, using the freed up capital to mostly increase my investments in OCBC and UOB. Basically, if an investment paid very little in dividends or has shown that it could suspend dividends in a crisis, and had a very weak balance sheet, it would be a candidate for a haircut. In the case of Comfort Delgro, I reduced my investment in the entity, but its strong balance sheet saved it from being reduced drastically to becoming a small investment in my portfolio. Which was the case for Centurion Corporation. I like to remind myself that Peter Lynch said all investments are good at the right price. Very often, the market misprices stocks. Today, the common stock of Comfort Delgro has declined rather significantly in price in response to the latest newspaper headline. Q1 profit falls 56.9%. Although Q1 is usually seasonally weaker for the business, a 56.9% fall is screaming for attention. Comfort Delgro mostly blamed higher cost pressure due to heightened inflation. Labor shortage and a more competitive landscape were also contributory factors. However, we want to keep things in perspective. Comfort Delgro has emerged from the pandemic with a stronger balance sheet. In fact, its net cash position continues to grow. Its net cash position has increased to $714 million from $653 million which we saw at the end of 2022. Comfort Delgro is still a profitable business, although it saw a decline in profit in Q1. All its business segments are showing improvement and with life going back to normal, things should continue to improve in all its markets, including China. Since I brought up what Peter Lynch said, what is a good price to pay for the common stock of Comfort Delgro? The last time I bought some was at $1.15 a share. I thought that was a fair price to pay and I still feel that way now. So, if we want to invest in Comfort Delgro for income, any price lower than $1.15 a share would be a pretty good price to me. At $1.10, for example, without any special dividend, we would be looking at a dividend yield of about 4.2%. Wait, didn't I say I reduced my investment in Comfort Delgro to increase my investments in OCBC and UOB last year? Yes, I did but that does not mean the Comfort Delgro is no longer a decent investment for income, especially if the price is right. Investing in Comfort Delgro today is to invest in a business that pays a 4% dividend yield even as it grows its cash position over time. For sure, it doesn't have an exciting story to tell like the Singapore banks do. Even to me, Comfort Delgro is pretty boring, but it isn't about to give me a heart attack either. Investing in Comfort Delgro isn't all bad if we can get in at a good enough price especially if all we want is decent passive income without having to worry about any equity fund raising by our investments. All investments are good investments at the right price. However, to be sure, it would also depend on what kind of an investor you are and what you want out of an investment. Then, you would be able to decide whether Comfort Delgro would be a suitable addition to your investment portfolio.